Hey everybody, welcome back to the Coin Pusher. Today we're doing a one million dollar buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for a million dollars. We set it right there in the center. Oh my goodness, it pushed two quarters. Oh no, we got stopped out though. Oh nice, the second wave. Oh sweet, it's already going. Nice. Wow, we got all kinds of quarters now. And 10 grand. Oh my goodness. Let's keep her going. It's doing phenomenal. Oh yeah, keep it, keep it pushing. Come on, push some quarters in there. Oh, sweet, we've got a $5,000 chip. Come on, big push. I mean, that second wave, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that big old tower right there is, is hitting this tower. <laughs> it just knocked it right into the bay. Oh my goodness, this huge tower right here is about to go. Oh my goodness, that's all going now. Wow, this quarter tower is about to go. That'll help out a big time. There's a lot of five thousand dollar chips, ten thousand dollar chips, and twenty five thousand dollar chips in there. Oh yeah, they went that quarter tower. That's going to help out tremendously. Pushing behind this great big old tower on the right, trying to get it to go. It's pushing forward real well. It's not going to hold on much longer, I don't think. It's a good thing we waited around for that one quarter to push it on through. I was worried there for a moment that it, we'd lost it all. Persistence paid off. Oh, sweet. That was a good push. Speaking of good pushes, here comes a good one. I, I think so, anyways. A big old tower is about to go. Sweet. This is doing so good. See if we can't get that other quarter tower to go. Meanwhile, we are raking in the dough. Getting all kinds of ten thousand and twenty-five thousand dollar chips. Oh, that quarter tower almost went, but I, I think it's a good time as any to go ahead and count it all up, see how we're doing real quick, then we'll get right back to pushing. Nice, this is doing fantastic. We done pulled over $11 million out of here. It's still pushing really well. That quarter tower is about to go. All them uh, $10,000 and $25,000 chips are pushing really well. Oh my goodness. $5,000 chips are pushing pretty good also. It's doing absolutely phenomenal. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm having a blast myself. It's like they got, uh, what, two mystery bags on the red shelves? Um, like one and a half towers, because this, this tower over here kind of like fell apart already. A bunch of gold. Loaded up pretty well. Mostly those mystery bags. That'll that'll make it worth a while paying the the two times the buy-in. This game is pushing so good.
Oh yeah. Wow, that right corner just moved a bunch. Got the left corner completely cleared off. Oh yeah, I'm just keeping it nice and loaded up. Preferably on the right, but some of them are working their way over to the left. Wow, this is almost cleared out already. I guess we need to work on trying to get some of these quarters back. We got it loaded way up with quarters. Still pushing. That's building up pressure over there on that right corner. You can tell it's wanting to go. All right, right there's the last of the quarters. Let me grab some more quarters real quick. All righty, let's keep her going. We're gonna stay kind of thin and try to get this stuff out. We got some extra quarters in here, a whole bunch of extra quarters. We're gonna try to get some of them while those $10,000 chips on the right are going. They should go pretty quick, I would think. Oh yeah, they're moving right along. Oh yeah. Shouldn't be long now. A couple more seconds probably. Got it all cleared out of there. Oh sweet, there it is. Alright, well, I think we ought to call them back here. We'll pay that two million dollars. They'll take everything off the red shelves. Put it in the playing field and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. We paid that 2.1 million. And uh, they took everything off the red shelves, and we also got the insurance in case we lose a whole bunch of the red shelves again. We only have to pay $10,000 deductible instead of a full $2 million. Hopefully we don't even need to use it, but it's there if we do. It's pushing really well. We did lose one $10,000 chip. Uh, it doesn't do any good at all to turn in the insurance to get back uh, $10,000 or less because we have to physically hand them uh, one of the chips that we'd won out of this game for the deductible. We can't take uh, anything out of our account balance to pay for the deductible. So I'd have to hand them a $10,000 chip and then they would take that $10,000 chip. Oh, you can't even see it anymore, but it's right back behind this. And they would set it in the playing field for us to chance to win it. And it could potentially go right down in the gutter. There's a hole right here and there's another hole over here. But things that fall in there, we don't get none of that. Uh, unless we get the 1025 chip and then they'll put it all, all that stuff in the playing field for us to have a chance to win it all. But either way, uh, trading $10,000 for $10,000, it's not, there's no reason to do that. It's not beneficial at all. So, and hopefully that explains it. We've had a few people asking about it because of the multipliers. I get it where you're thinking, but they won't let us uh, pay the deductible from our account balance. It has to be from from the game we're playing. You know, literally, they'll take one of our chips away from us to pay for the deductible. 
Meanwhile, we're making a fortune though. We just got a bunch of gold. That was a whole bunch. Probably, I don't know, what do you think it was? Probably 10 ounces of gold? It was a bunch. I believe we done got one mystery bag. There's another one on the edge. That thing is great big. Massive mystery bag. It's about to go, actually. Oh, we got it. Stuck on my thread though. It's hanging by a thread down there. You can see the black line right there. And there's two of them. That's, that's the string on the mystery bag. Ooh, that tower on the rat looked like it was about to go. was swallowing up some $5,000 chips on that gutter on the left. Just got one from us. Wow, all those $10,000 chips went though. Oh my, that big old tower on the right. We can't push forward much further. It's going to have to fall over or something. I think it might be touching the glass at the top. It is pretty tall. We got the camera super high, way up in the air, trying to see you can see it all as much as possible anyhow. But that right there was the last of the quarters. Let me grab some more quarters real quick. All righty, let's check out these mystery bags, see how we're doing. Oh, sweet. What is that? Four of the white dice and two of the golden dice. That's incredible. Let's check out this humongous one. This thing is gigantic. Oh my goodness, look at that. How many white dice is that? 11 white dice and one golden dice. And I think this is the 1025 chip. It is, sweet. That is amazing. So, those that don't know, the 1025 chip, uh, gets us everything that's been falling down in the gutters. This hole right there and that hole right there. All that stuff goes to a different area. And uh, we don't get none of that unless you get lucky and get that 1025 chip. But anyhow, we'll turn that in later on and they'll take everything that's falling down in there. And they'll put it all back in the playing field for us to have a chance to win it all. So that is amazing. Uh, sometimes it'll be a whole bunch of stuff, other times it's not a whole bunch. It just depends kind of on uh, how much we lost during our game. And uh, how long it's been since last time somebody, somebody won that chip. Somebody might have won it right before we got here. Or there might not have been anybody won it all day long. This is... Uh, I think the fourth game we played on this one, and we haven't won it yet, so I'm hoping uh, it's, well, I know it's got at least four games worth of stuff in it, but hopefully it's got even more than that. We'll find out together, I suppose. It shouldn't be too much longer for this great big old tower on the rat goes. That thing is massive. We get, oh, do you see it shaking around like crazy? They're moving a bunch. Oh, it's hanging over the edge even. Yes, I think it's thinking about going. It's kind of, kind of settling down now, isn't it? Ooh, it's leaning, leaning big time. It's going to fall backwards any moment, I think. There it is. Nice. Ooh, we're getting paid out in gold now. Quite a bit of gold. Bunch of gold on the edge. Oh, 
Uh, actually, I just realized when we turn that 1025 chip in, they'll give us that, uh, that $10,000 chip that's on the red shelf. We get a, a free reset when you turn in the 1025 chip. Uh, as long as you'd already paid to get the red shelves. Then you get a free reset when you turn in a, one of the special items. So that's a good deal. That was the last of the quarters. Let me grab the quarters and then we'll get the rest of us pushed out of here. All right, let's keep it going. I think we're gonna go across the whole field, but, but we're gonna put it in a little thin. Maybe we don't have a whole bunch of quarters in here when we turn in that 1025 chip. We should get a massive push this way too. I'm hoping. It's pretty much all right there on the edge anyhow. So I don't think it'd be a good a good time to like completely load it up and go for a mega push or nothing. This game has went really well from the very beginning. Well, it was a little rough at the very first second or two. I thought we'd lost it all and then it took off. I almost did another buy-in. Luckily, we waited around a moment. We got that second wave and it, it just took off. We got pretty lucky, really. The other uh, four games we played, they, uh, one of, well, actually, two of them was a one quarter challenge. It was the same game, actually. We tried it and then we tried it again and we still hadn't won nothing. So we figured it needed warmed up a little and let some other people play it for a while. And they was able to get it to go and so we, we never got a chance to play that one. And then we played another one that was a, a $10 million game. It came with uh, 10 quarters, 10 quarters for 10 million. I think we got like a five or a ten thousand dollar. Yeah, it was a, it was one of both, a five thousand dollar chip and a ten thousand dollar chip to push out, and that was it. That's all we got out of it. So, uh, all in all, it, it's been a good day. We just had a few rough games there. This game right here should cover all of our losses for the day, and some, quite a bit actually. Uh, it should be all right. We done run out of quarters though. Goodness, we went to those quick. Let me grab a few more quarters. Let's get the last of it out of there. All right, let's get that last, what is that? 10, $25,000? Yeah, let's get the last $25,000 out of that right corner. Five of it. Twenty grand to go. It's all on the edge too. Come on, come on, come on, coin pusher. You can do it. Oh, it's moving it. It's kind of struggling, but it it is doing it. Nice, we got another five of it. 15,000 to go, come on. Come on. Hopefully we'll get a big old push and all 15,000 of it will go at once. Oh, it almost went right there, did you see it? It almost like did a, a flip or a somersault or something. It just fell right in there. Oh yeah, we got it, nice. Uh, five of it did get stuck right there. But when we turn in that 1025 chip, though, they'll, they'll give that to us. So let's turn in the 1025 chip, and then we'll get right back to playing. All righty, here we are. We're playing that 1025 game. This is all the stuff. Apparently, all it's all the stuff that was falling down 
in them gutters since the last time someone cleared it out. Kind of, kind of feel like the mystery bags are not that case that they actually bring those with them or they or they stash them in there because I just don't see how people could lose mystery bags consistently and and not say something like we've lost mystery bags before but but we normally notice it so I'm pretty sure that's something extra extra like a bonus I don't really want to ask them because I'm afraid they'll change their ways if we, we start questioning them too much. So we just go with it. It's doing really, really well. There's a whole bunch of quarters. I think there's a bunch of chips in there that are just kind of covered with quarters. And then plus there was, what, three ginormous towers. I think one of them was, yeah, one of them was $25,000 chips and two of them were $10,000 chips. You can still see them, they're, they're just laid over. So that should make for a humongous win. Especially with that extra mystery bag. We've already got a whole bunch of dice. We, we got pretty lucky and none of them, uh, oh, I waited, I just said, I just run my mouth talking about how lucky we were. Got nothing landing on the red shelf. I was thinking about putting a couple on the red shelf right now. On the way back there on the right side. I'm hoping we can get it to push on past. But you gotta be careful not to jinx yourself. It, it seems to happen quite a bit to me. I speak just a little too soon. So we're gonna not talk about that for a moment. We'll talk about something else. Up on the on the uh, edge, there's all kinds of five and ten thousand dollar chips. Oh, there's even a twenty five thousand dollar chip right there. Getting ready to go. Wow, this is pushing really good. Just about got everything off of the pusher shelf. There's what, uh, 40, 70,000 on the pusher shelf. So let's push that off of there. Nice, right, so I got quite a bit of it right there. The left corner, oh yeah. All right, now we can safely talk about the. Uh, uh, how we didn't lose no $10,000 chips to the red shelf. I was, I was afraid I'd, I'd end up losing a couple of them if we would have said that sooner. Luckily, I caught myself. Ooh, we just lost a whole bunch of $10,000 chips to that gutter on the right side. I guess it'll be in there for the next time somebody wins the 1025 chip. All right, right there were the last of the quarters. I'm gonna grab some more quarters real quick. All righty, let's check out this here mystery bag, see what's in there. Oh, sweet, two more of the white dice. Nice. That brings us up to a whole bunch of them. Should be a massive win. Hopefully a uh, jackpot win. We could definitely hope.
we've about got this completely cleared out. This is doing so good. It's been a fantastic game. We've only been playing it three hours and 16 minutes. That's amazing that it's only taken that long to get this cleared out. Of course, I'll cut out as much as I possibly can to keep it entertaining. There's uh, 50,000, I think. Oh, nice. Down to 40,000 on the right corner now. Oh, yeah, we got it completely cleared out. That is amazing. All right, let me call them back here. Let's set them dice back there, and then we'll get to pushing the dice. All righty, they got them dice in there. Let's uh, push them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully, they're laying on some humongous numbers. Oh, my goodness. We lost one of them to the red shelf. I wonder if they'll count that as a four, though. They should. I don't see why not. So, yeah, they should count it as a four. That other one, they would count it as a one. It almost landed on the red shelf. But yeah, for a long time, we just rolled them at the counter like everybody else does. And uh, someone had, had mentioned, why don't you ask them if you can roll them in the sim? And that's what we've done ever since. Uh, I think a lot of the other channels kind of picked up on it too. So that that's good. I mean, it, uh, it does make it a better experience for the viewers. The dice are doing all right. It's got to be two or better, though. That, like that one right there, it doesn't count. Uh, they did tell us, though. Oh, nice. That one flipped over to a three on the far left. If they fall in the gutters or down inside the, the pay area, we do lose them. And that's because um, we have the ability to continue to push them and possibly flip them over to something nicer. And to uh, for them to have a little bit of a advantage of, of that as well we have to stop or lose them potentially uh, if they fall in the gutters and, and down the pay chute like that three over there we might lose that three i'm trying not to i'm trying to stay to the far right try not to push it but it happens it does happen occasionally Yeah, we're gonna lose it, unfortunately. Ooh, we got a one also, that's terrible. Lose a three for a one. We got two more though. Oh, oh for another one? Ooh, it might flip over to a three though. Oh, and another one. So we literally switched a winning three for three losers. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Another one just fell in the gutter, which don't really matter. I guess they're in there for someone else to win. Maybe that's what happens, is they fall in, fall in there. Who knows, but let's, uh, let's tally it all up. It should still be a pretty good win. Look how many big numbers are right around here. Yeah, let's tally it up real quick. Nice, we ended up pulling $23,115,000 out of there. And them dice totaled up to 39, so we got to multiply it all by 39. Turned it into an astounding 901 million four hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars That is definitely a life-changing winning right there, baby. Life-changing winning. And that gold totaled up to 31, and the golden dice totaled up to 14, so we got to multiply it all by 14 turned it into an astounding 434 ounces of gold all in all that's not bad for a 3.1 million dollar buy-in not bad at all well if y'all enjoy the videos do me a favor hit that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we'll see you on the next one y'all take care